What's up, my authentic fam? Real quick, this is going to be a super short video. I hope so. Uh, this one is called Focus on the Man. And I was just thinking the other day, and I was like, man, this is so simple. So simple. But it's the answer, man. It's the truth. How do they say? Facts. Facts. Focus on the man. What does that mean? And who should be focusing on the man? Bruh. You should be focusing on the man. She should be focusing on the man. Your mom, your dad, your grandpa should be focusing on the man. Your little brother, your sister, focusing on the man. Everybody should be focusing on the man. What the hell is I in there talking about? What man? So, a lot of guys is like putting pussy before purpose. Did I curse too early? Sorry, YouTube. A lot of guys are putting panties before purpose. And they're using a girlfriend, which is already sad because guys are talking about a girlfriend. Really? In 20-something, you talking about, I want a girlfriend. What are you, fucking P. Diddy and Usher? I want a girl to ride, ride, ride. I want a girl by my side. Shut that shit up. Shut that shit up. Girls ain't even like that no more. If you get one, you're super, super lucky. If you're going to find a girl that's like actually, uh, you know, like contributing to your life and like making you better and giving you encouragement, support and inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Being your backbone when, when the world is kicking your ass and she's telling you, baby, you're a winner. You got this. You can do this. <laughs> Where they do that at? I'm not saying chicks like that don't exist. They exist. That's my point. They're very... Scarce, they're very hard to find, right? So a lot of guys be like measuring like happiness, success, or like, I don't know, being worthy or worth something like with 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 the presence of a girlfriend. And I'm just like, oh, okay, okay. If, if, if that was your, uh, your, your measurement and you were talking about multiple women, I would still say, eh, not really, but at least I could see that more. I'd be like, yeah, well, you know, you know, he is doing his thing. He do got plenty of chicks. He got hella plates. He got more plates than a dishwasher. But um, no, guys, no, no. Women, that's not, no, that's not how it works, bro. They're the spoils of success. We know that. They're like groupies. They come around after you've already become valuable. All right, guys? So stop using that as like a measurement. That's that fatherless shit. That's really what it is, man. I'm sorry. That's the, you know, I hope I didn't make anybody cry. You know, my dad died too, but God, Lee, that's where that comes from. When you like measure how good another guy is doing by his girlfriend. It's like, bro, I'd rather be the millionaire motherfucker that's single. <laughs> what the fuck? Than the guy making 65000 a year that just bought a new house with his wife. Like, uh, I guess that's successful. But, you know, I like that. Like that single millionaire over there. Um, yeah, but anyway. All right, so what do I mean by focus on the man, guys? Let me stop fucking around. Let me get serious right now. Okay, so what I mean by focus on the man is that every breathing moment, every moment you're conscious, you should be consciously and subconsciously thinking about who's the man? What is the man that I want to be? You know what I mean? And this is not like something you're just going to have an answer for instantly. It's like a puzzle. And as you get older, you're adding pieces to that puzzle. When you're a little boy, like certain things, you know, will be like a piece of the puzzle. You'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to be like that. Like, like, okay, that's a quality I want to have, right? You just put that in there. Okay, well, when I get older, I'm going to, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I want that too, right? Oh, yeah, I want that, right? And you just start collecting things that you see that, 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 inspire you that you're like you admire like oh man that's cool i want to be like that you know what i mean and throughout your life you're accumulating these things so it's like this constant journey right because you're, you're you're never done with that you're just where you are at that stage in your life right but you're like the man right you have like this focus like the man that i want to be and it's in your head nobody else even knows what the fuck that is what it looks like they have their own version of it in their head right but that's the man so that's why I say you got to focus on that because you're like constantly building that guy's identity, his qualities, his strong points, his skills. And then you're also like 
trying to be conscious of his limitations and his weaknesses. Like, oh, okay, 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 shit, that's a weakness for me. I gotta keep my eye on that. Like, oh, okay, okay, I'm insecure about this. Like, oh, okay, I, 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 that's my weak area. I need to improve that, right? But all the while, you're also just deciding and determining what qualities and skills yeah, um, you know, and values you need to add to the character of this person that you're building, right? Now, your dad, he's supposed to be like his version of that for you. Like he has his focus of what the man is, right? So you, you're like born. He's like, oh, should I have a son? So already your dad's doing his version of that. Like, oh man, you know, I want my son to be like this. I want him to be better than me. I want him to do, 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 do right? So he's focusing on the man. Okay, boom. That's the legacy. Now. Your mom, she like has this, her version or whatever, okay? Um, women, women have this version of the man and women are also building this gradually. Like, oh, I was in a relationship with this guy and he was toxic. So the man now has to like, okay, not be like that. So we're gonna subtract that from the man, right? Oh, I, 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 I met this guy and he took me here and it was amazing the first time I did this and da, da, da. So yeah, the man, he has to be able to do this. He has to be able to provide this, right? So this is why we say that women are actually a combination of all the different experiences with the prior men that they've been with. When they come to you and it's finally your turn, that's what they are, that's what made them up is all the dudes they fucked with before you. So their expectation now is evolving and changing, right? Based on their, their perception and their idea of who this man is, which is basically the man that they're willing to come off the market for, right? Uh, meanwhile, they're also creating this shadow of that guy that they don't want. So those are the red flags that they're like looking out for like, oh no, because I dated a guy that did that or was or had that characteristic and it didn't turn out well. So that's a red flag. If you have that, you're gonna be just like him. I don't want it. So focus on the man, right? So, okay, now what we'll, we'll gets me to, 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 to make this point because maybe some people think I'm fucking rambling, but hopefully it's gonna make sense in a second. So guys that are like, disfat like dissatisfied with their life, right? They're dissatisfied with their identity, they don't uh, feel this like sense of pride and value to who they are as an individual, right? They're, they're not feeling self. Okay, well, what, what happened? Well, because they're not, they're not that man. So either they didn't even have the focus of who the man was or they're falling short of that. So, okay, well, what stopped you? What distracted you? Because whoever the man is that you build in your head that you're trying to be, it, it's possible for sure. Like that's a fact, it's possible because you, you, you're building this archetype based on you. So you're, you're not gonna create something that, that's impossible um, for you to become. So it's already feasible, it's possible, but it takes a shitload of work, discipline, sacrifice, hardship, pain, struggle, all that type of shit for you to achieve it. So that's your struggle in life. Your struggle is to become that person. And the simple way that guys say that is, Become the best version of yourself. Okay, that's it right there. But my point is there has to be this constant, consistent focus and aim on that person to become that person. In other words, I'm saying you have to be clear to yourself who the fuck that is. You have to have that conversation with your head. Who is that person? What are the requirements of this person? And then ask yourself, would that person wake up at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? Nah, that, that guy would probably need an early start. That guy would probably need to wake up at like 6 a.m. Does that guy speak multiple languages or one well if he's trying to do all that he probably speaks another language right is that how this guy dresses or does he you know dress with a little bit more fucking you know class and style right so that's what i'm saying when you are familiar with who that guy is that you're supposed to be it starts to create a set of rules because you know that that particular guy wouldn't do that that guy wouldn't smoke cigarettes you know what i'm saying that guy wouldn't you know eat that bullshit that guy wouldn't do that all right and that guy wouldn't fuck that fat ugly bitch all right so you know these are the things I can't do because it's going to prevent me from becoming that guy. These are the things that I have to accomplish and achieve in order to become that guy. So that's why I say focus on the man. Now, how's this apply to females? All right, why are so many chicks today single? Or I shouldn't say why are they single. Why are so many chicks today end up single and alone? Because the reason why they're single when they're young and beautiful is because of greed. It's because they're like, yo, I'm not going to cash out of the market 
for one guy when all of these guys are giving me attention, all these guys are giving me stuff, giving me perks, giving me gifts, doing me favors, buying me things, flying me out. So they're not going to want to give all of that up for one guy because then they're going to be looking around thinking, damn, I missed out. Damn, I could have did this. Damn, that guy would have cash at me. Oh, man, this guy would have bought me a ticket to Paris. Oh, that guy wanted to take me to Dubai. I got a guy in my DM offering to take me to Dubai, but nope, I got a boyfriend and my boyfriend only makes 75 grand a year. He's broke. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Compared to the, to the guys that are just shooting her lazy ass, effortless DMs. But in her mind, that's an option. And I'm, I'm cutting all those options off for the one guy, which is why women are like, yo, in order for me to have a one guy, he has to be a millionaire. So a lot of you guys do not understand where, where women's like standards and expectations for men or whatever come from. And then you sit there and say, oh, these women are unrealistic. These women are picky. These women are gold diggers. These women overvalue themselves. It's like, <sighs> yes and no. You're, you're not in their shoes. So you don't fucking get it. All right. I maybe have a better understanding of it because I've actually experienced it. The difference is I'm a fucking straight man and I have the ability to say no because that's how I was raised. But I know a lot of dudes that consider themselves straight men and they actually don't say no. I'm not knocking anybody or judging anybody. I'm just speaking facts and being transparent. So when guys try to like expose me and make all these weird ass uh, accusations and shit based on no proof, it's like that's fucking adorable guy. But yeah, there are plenty of dudes that are good looking and they're fucking gay for pay because they have a hard time saying no and turning that down. I get it. That wasn't the case with me, men or women. I had plenty of women that were like, I'll do this for you. I'll buy you this. I'll do that. But I want you to do this. And I'm like, nah, nah, I'll just go work for my money and call it a day. Whatever advantages I have, whatever perks I have, cool. But I don't need to like really, really uh, go, go to that side with it, right? But what I'm saying is I can see how the women can't say no. Because women are already kind of used to going on dates with guys that they're not necessarily feeling or, or interested in. So it's a lot of easier transition for them, right? And say a guy to be hanging out or doing shit with people he doesn't really want to be with, but he's just trying to come up on gifts and prizes, right? So anyhow, that's the long explanation for why a lot of these really attractive women prefer to be single. I'm putting it out there because I see so many fucking guys that have this figured wrong. It's like, that's not what it is. There's a very logical reason as to why these women feel like, yo, this dude isn't making like, I don't know, half a million a year. Nah, I don't want to settle down. Because when you add up and accumulate all of the attention, time, resources that they're getting from multiple guys, it's going to come to a sum of a lot more than a guy that's making 60, 70 K a year. All right. So that's a long explanation for why these women choose to be single in their youth, because it's so monetized nowadays, uh, their looks, right? Social media gives them access to like constant fucking resources from, from random guys. Now, the reason why they end up single when they get older and they pass that 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 uh that what is it the, the glory the glory days right of their youth is because they didn't focus on the man they were taught to focus on their career focus on being independent focusing on their education focusing on paying their own bills focusing on living their best life focus on hot girl summer focus on what they want focus on indulging themselves focusing on being spoiled none of this has anything to do with the man so now what happens is at some point in time, they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. The man. That's right. I actually do want the man one day. I eventually want the man. All right. All right okay. It's time. It's, okay. It's time to get the man now. And it's like, what do you know about the man? Oh, man, I really like him. He's this is it's like, yeah, yeah. But what do you know about him, though? Like, what is he like? What does he want? Oh, th that's important. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important. The man is actually a person like he has a preference too. you dumb bitch. You selfish. You selfish ass broad. Oh, I just spent the last 15 years indulging myself, only focusing on me. I wasn't focusing on the man. Exactly. That's why you can't get the man. That's why he can't relate to you. That's why you have nothing for him, because you weren't focusing on the man all this time. So in short, what I'm saying is focus on the man. If men focus on the man, they can become the man and continue becoming and becoming the man as the man upgrades. 
if women focus on the man, they can actually get secure and keep the man. When these broads go to college, you know what they go to college for? I know some guys are thinking, oh, I know the answer to get an education. Wrong. That's why they're getting useless degrees. Because they didn't actually go there to learn. They just went there to beat their chest and put that fucking hat on, the cap and the gown, and take that picture on Instagram like a scholar. That's why they did it. So that's what they were focusing on, right? When they went to college, they were focusing on having a good time, partying, and just wearing that cap and gown and acting like they really accomplished something, like they're really better than people. Like they did something that was so hard. Oh my God, you did homework and memorized stuff and then regurgitated it to your professor that you're like super, super friendly with. So even though you didn't know half of the shit, you still passed. That's all they did. But traditionally, women went to college to meet quality men that they could marry. So in other words, they went to college to focus on the man, okay? And get a head start on the man because back in the day, people actually used fucking logic and common sense. If you wait till a guy is fully uh, realized and successful and he self-actualized himself, what the fuck does he owe you? He has, he, he's not beholden to you for anything. It's like, yeah, bro, I bend over. Let me beat that pussy up. Don't tell your dad, I'm out. <laughs> You think guys weren't having casual sex 50, 60 years ago? Of course they were. It's just, it, it didn't make the news because it would ruin the credibility of the female. And also the guy didn't want it to get out because he didn't want people holding him responsible to that chick. He's like, yo, 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 I don't want to be with that chick. It was just sex, right? So back in the day, people knew that, listen, if you want a winner, you have to get him before he crosses the finish line. You have to secure him before you, you, he crosses the finish line. Today, these, these chicks are taught like, no, nah, just focus on yourself and marriage is an afterthought, okay? They don't focus on the man, all right? Uh, why are these young boys so fucked up and confused? Why are these young girls' thoughts that have no self-value and will jump on OnlyFans in a heartbeat? Because there was no man to focus on when they were growing up. Because if they focused on the man being their father, he would have been setting rules, discipline, he would have been instilling self-confidence, self-value, self-worth, so that a woman would be like, OnlyFans? Oh, hell no. Hell no strangers can't see me naked for $3.99 a month. That comes from a value that her father would have instilled in her at a young age, right? And she would have focused on him. Look how excited kids are at nighttime when their father gets home from work because they were focusing on the man, right? Uh, look how many young boys push themselves because they want their father's approval and praise. What were they doing? They were focusing on the man. They were focusing on the validation of their father. Okay? Um, and when mothers are raising their children and instilling manners and morals in their kids, where are they getting it from? They're getting it from the man. The man creates the culture. He creates the rules. Um, the guidelines. And then he passes it to the woman. And then he goes out and works. And the woman now takes her time and patience and nurturing to teach it to the children because you know a lot of guys they only have but so much of an attention span with children it's great to play with your kids and have a good time and teach them stuff but doing that full time it's like good lord you know but women have the patience um and the nurturing for that right so they kind of transmit these values from the man to the kids and everything works well all right guys so um uh, yeah, this shit's really simple, man. I know I made it overly complex, but at the end of the day, all I'm saying is focus on the man. Always focus on the man. Too many of you guys are literally focusing on chicks. You're either focusing on women in general or you're focusing on a woman. You're focusing on what somebody else is doing. You're focusing on drama. You're focusing on what some celebrity said and all this other external dumb shit. And then you're wondering why you're not satisfied in life. You're not satisfied in life because you're not the fucking man. All right? Focus on the man to become the man. I'm up out of here, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.